Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. The main event live from the AO Arena tomorrow night here in Manchester and on Sky Sports box office. The two men, the two former champions at the top of the bill, scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Promoted by Ben Shalom and Boxer in association with Wasserman Boxing. Introducing first to the scales. He stands five foot nine and one half inches tall. He comes to us with a professional record of 32 victories versus three losses with 19 of those wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Liverpool, England. He has worn the British, the Commonwealth, and the WBO World Championships around his waist. Here is Liam Beefy Smith. Official weight, 11 stone, five pounds for Liam Smith. And his opponent making his way to the scales. He stands five foot, 11 inches tall. He comes to us with a professional record of 32 victories versus two losses with 23 wins coming by way of knockout. And he fights out of Brighton, England, introducing the former British IBO and WBA champion. Here is Chris Eubank Jr. Official weight, 11 stone, five pounds for Chris Eubank Jr.
Ladies and gentlemen, the AO Arena is sold out here in Manchester. Millions watching around the world on Sky Sports box office. This is your main event of the evening. 12 three minute rounds, two former champions, an all British clash, a classic soon to be Liam Beefy Smith, Chris Eubank Jr. We will see these two tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen. You can still buy the pay-per-view, but no more tickets. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Liam Beefy Smith, Chris Eubank Jr. here in Manchester tomorrow night. Liam, a long head-to-head, -head, neither man willing to break the stair. We are live, so within reason, can you tell us what you said to him at the end there? You know, I just said, look, you made the personal. You want to, you want to make it personal, I'll fully make it personal. Don't think I won't, so, you know, I just told Chris that he made the personal. You see, on a couple of things, bringing my family into it, trying to slam my city, Liverpool. Um, he's in for a rude awakening tomorrow, let me tell you. All eyes on the scale, there was nothing between you. Um, how do you feel at this weight? Obviously making weight isn't easy, but was it a little bit easier coming up to 160? Yeah, obviously it was, it, it was a little bit easier energy level wise, but it was still come down to 160. And like I said, I think, don't, 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 be, don't be fooled that this is at 160 tomorrow and think that size is gonna be a, be a big issue. What did you see when you looked at him though, in terms of the weight and how he's made it? A clown, again, it's all just seen again. A clown, standing in front of me. With this build-up and everything um, over the eight weeks, has your prediction changed? Has your confidence improved, if anything? No, it just stayed the same. I was 100% confident. I can't be no more confident than that. I was 100% confident when the fight got put to me. The camp I've had, the condition I'm in, I'm 100% confident here one day before this fight. Final word to you. Will you give us a prediction? A lean from it win. And just obviously thanks to all the fans here for coming out again. Let's give them something tomorrow. Liam, best of luck. I'll let you go that way. Let's bring Chris Eubank Jr. into the interview position. Chris. First, let's start with the weight. You said on the night that he, he may well outweigh you on the scales, nothing between you. How was it making 160? Uh, the KFC last night was great. I enjoyed it. I made the weight uh, in excellent fashion. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to go tomorrow. Shout out to other fast food outlets that are available. What percentage are you now? It's been building through the week. What was it, 45 yesterday? We're at the full 50% now, and uh, that's what it's going to take to beat that man. I saw it in his eyes on the, on the, uh, on the stage there. He doesn't want to be here. He, he's going to be in for a shot. Do you believe that you can stop him tomorrow night? 
a lot has been made about your punch power. Are you stuck between styles? So many things have been leveled at you. Has it changed your outlook at all? Has it made you hungrier for a stoppage at all? Um, I guess the antics leading up to this fight have made me a little bit hungrier. There's a little bit more needle in it now. Now he's, you know, he's made things personal. So yeah, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to enjoy the punishment that I dish out. Now it's not just business, now it's personal. Winning at all costs, but all, also the performance is important if you want to land big fights after this one. Not looking forward ahead, but uh, too far ahead. But do you want to stop him? As I said, we go out there each and every time to take these guys out. I got to win in devastating fashion so that I can go on and fight the big names in the division, i.e. Triple G. Chris, best of luck tomorrow.